Hello everyone, so welcome back to my channel once again. My name is Bryce. If you're new and um, yeah, this is my full detailed tutorial on how I do my Senegalese twist. Um, I hope if you are a beginner that you do find this video useful. Uh, the hair that I use is called Expression Hair. It's just a synthetic um, Penicillone uh, braiding hair. I'm going to tell you how much, um, how I cut the hair and also how much hair I use at the end of the video. I also do feather my hair to make it look more natural and I would have uh, a link on how I feather my hair down below and also how to vinegar rinse the hair because I did vinegar rinse my hair because um, if I don't it gives me irritation on my scalp so I always vinegar rinse if you don't have vinegar you could always still just wash it I'm sure it would help still um, yeah so this is my hair I've already done about uh, well almost all of it <laughs> but I left the part that it can be quite difficult for some people to do so yeah, I left that part out so I can show the view of uh, that section of hair. So I have natural type 4C, 4B type of hair. So I um, did an oil treatment overnight and then I shampoo and conditioned my hair. I did condition my hair. Um, and then I moisturized my hair and seal the hair by twisting it up again and leaving it to dry in twist all right so by the time it dry my hair is pretty much stretched and more easier to um handle i usually just take random section of the hair i feel it to see if it's the right size of hair that i'm taking if not i put it back to take another one so that's how i do it well usually when i do the front i tend to want to look in the mirror Yes, so that I make it look as neat as possible. Um, the back, I just do it. Obviously, I can't see it. <laughs> but you can have a mirror at the back and have a mirror in front. And if you're new, you can. It can actually help you to be able to see the back when you're taking the sections out. If you're new and you want to make sure you have the exact same size of hair whenever you twist, um, I say take a first piece down and then whenever you take another hair, you can kind of like compare it to see uh, if you have the right amount of size, all right? So to start with the twist, I actually do braid the beginning by... Um, I kind of like wrap the synthetic hair around my natural hair, as you can see, like once. And then I can like take a little bit of hair from half of the synthetic hair to add to my natural hair. And then I braid at the beginning. I braid for like about three to four times or so. And um, what I do from here now, in order for me to be able to blend uh, the hair to transition it from the braid to the twist, I take a little bit of hair from... Um, the other part of the hair that I took from to add to my natural hair and then I add the rest to my natural hair. As you can see, I'm kind of rotating it anti-clockwise on my left hand and doing the same anti-clockwise on my right hand. And then I twist it, I bring it across, I put the one on my left right hand on top of the one on my left hand all right and then i kind of like twist as i go along whenever the hair comes back to my left hand i rotate it which is what gives that nice twist um like a rope effect by rotating it in your uh, fingers all right and then i keep uh twisting Usually, you know, when you get, when you're twisting, especially with the amount of section of hair that I'm taking, I like to kind of like, uh, kind of like uh, take a clip to clip it down just so that I don't put too much tension on my scalp. And then I just continue to twist. When you come to almost uh, the end of your own natural hair, pay close attention to uh, and make sure you really twist that hair so that it really blends in very well. All right, now, now that we are at the end of the twist, I'm going to show you how to twist the end so that you, um, so that it stays secure. So this is the technique that I use and it's just to confuse the ends just so that they do not unravel. So I take a section of hair, add to another, and then I rotate it in my fingers and then I twist it. This is going to confuse the hair. Um, that it does not unravel 
Now you can do about three times and usually you should be fine. But bear in mind that the more you do, uh, the more secure the hair would be. Every time it comes back to my next finger, I rotate it and then I twist. I have a second tip for you on uh, how to do if you are at the back of the hair. But first, let me show you how uh, the hair looks, especially where uh, we transition from the braid to the twist. Now, the reason why I like to braid uh, my hair at the bottom is because of the size of hair that I'm taking. Um, I don't want to feather like that hair because it's already small enough right so therefore I that's why I don't twist from the bottom um, and I like to when I do a small size like this I like to kind of braid the bottom first and then I transition into um, a twist because it's a much uh, healthier way for my hair so when you have the back now this is what I do take a section of hair that you want as usual and we are going to braid like you see me do it's pretty much easy for you to just watch and then braid as you watch so at this point i braid about four times i think here and then i take a section a little piece of hair just to help it to be able to transition uh much smoothly so as I split the hair, I rotate the hair in my fingers. I put it in slow motion here, as you can see. And then I put the hair in my left in my right hand under. And then I put the one in my left hand on top. Can you see that? I put I rotate it in my left finger and then I put the hair in my right hand underneath. And then put the one on my left on top. Every time the hair comes back to my left hand, I rotate it. All right. And then when you get to a much more comfortable length, you can kind of like move it to the side, which just makes everything much faster and much more easier to do. All right. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, I prefer, I would say you even be able to learn it much quicker and better if you mute my voice <laughs> and then just watch whilst I do it, right? And I like to really just rotate the hair on one finger. It's a it's much less complicated when I rotate the uh, hair in just one finger and then twist as I go along. It's much faster. So there you have the there's all my hair um i'm gonna finish off the rest of the hair off camera <laughs> and then um i will show you what it looks like after so here i'm about to fill my ends as usual make them look slick and also um yeah just makes it look much better <laughs> so i dip the hair in the very hot water very careful so that you don't burn yourself i by doing that i just leave the water on my counter <laughs> it's so much easier so i can pay more attention to the hair so i just dip it in for about 30 seconds or so even probably less and then i take it out and then i smooth it downward but as i'm removing the water i'm just smoothing the hair downward trying to kind of like slick so because my hair is pretty long, I like to go back in just at the tip of the hair. So there you have it. There's my hair all done. I so love this hair. I don't know why I've not done Senegalese, Senegalese twist for a long time. It's been about, oh my god, years. At least seven years. <laughs> at least seven years since I've done Senegalese twist. The first time I did it, I actually didn't like uh, the hair because I used the a color I hated. So I took it out. <laughs> so um, I didn't get to enjoy it at all. So this is actually my second time of doing this hair. Alright. So, oh yeah, let me talk about how much packs of hair I use. I use about four and a half packs. So you probably will need to buy about five packs of hair. You might lose, 
use way less than mine. Bear in mind, the less hair you use, the better for your hair and your scalp. All right. So, uh, bear that in mind. And um, I uh, cut the hair. Okay. So the hair I cut two of them into two, and then uh, the other two I cut into two as well. But this time I cut one side of the hair like about two to three inches longer than the other. So basically now I have like three long uh, sections of hair. One uh, which is long and then one like uh, half the half and then the one which is a little bit shorter than the half. So I use the shortest one um, on, on, at the back of my hair uh, up onto where my hairline, where my ear uh, is and then I use the half um, like in between the hair and then I use the longest one at the top of the hair. It kind of like makes the hair look full from root tip I guess but you don't have to do that all that different length. Um, you can just cut the hair into all equal sides and then use it like that as well. So yeah, I hope you all find this video uh, useful. I really do. Uh, do don't forget to give me leave me comments down there. Let me know what you think. And also, if you like it, <laughs> I have a video on how I wash it coming up as well. Please do go ahead and give me a thumbs up for this video. I love you for watching. Uh, take care of yourself, and I will see you all in my next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.